Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another morning with Proverbs. Basically, where we bring you a two-minute video um, talking from the book of Proverbs, which is basically the book of wisdom written by the wisest man that's ever lived, uh, King Solomon, who obviously asked for one gift from God and got, and the gift was the gift of wisdom and knowledge to be able to lead his people. So we're going to share today and get into it. Um, we're going to be reading from, for those who want to take notes, um, from chapter 3, um, verse 9. And it says, Honour the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. Now obviously... A lot of people probably, you know, watching this are not Christians, which is cool, okay? But what is it about? It's about having a heart to give, you know? As Christians, we're called to give, obviously, 10% or whatever, and even more, really, uh, to God and his causes. But more than that, let's look at people in the world who give. You know, Bill Gates gave away half of his wealth. The richest One of the richest men alive, uh, Warren Buffett, gave away a majority of his wealth. Why? Because they realised that there was nothing else that they could purchase and the biggest thing that they could do, the most valuable thing they could do was to give because there was more in giving than receiving. Oprah Winfrey gives away incredible wealth. Now, people may say it's all right for them, they're rich. But here's the question. If you have a pound today and that's the only pound, will you give away 10 pence of that? If you have a hundred pound, will you give 10 pound away from that? If you only had 10 pence, will you give away a penny? What you tend to find is those people who don't like to give are the most stingiest people and they never have enough. But when you start to give, what happens in your heart? You realise how lucky you are. You realise how lucky you are that you have the ability to give. So what I would say to you today, Christian, non-Christian, whoever's watching this, get into a habit of giving. Get into a habit of thinking of other people who have it worse off than you. And what happens is you start to realise how lucky you are. So I'll be blessed today. And as we always say at Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. So have a blessed day and see you guys tomorrow morning. God bless.